Hey YouTube, Jared here, back with another Then and Now video. You know, each one of these videos are totally unique, and this one is no exception. A couple of months back, uh, I took a trip to Oregon, and while I was there, I made the drive up to the Timberline Lodge, which, as you may know, served as the Overlook Hotel in Stanley Kubrick's version of The Shining. You'll see from the video, it was really the perfect time of year to make the visit. So without saying anything further, let's kick this thing off and take a trip to the Overlook Hotel. Enjoy. Even though most of these driving sequences for Kubrick's The Shining were filmed in Glacier National Park in Montana, you simply cannot help but get that shining vibe as you make the drive up toward the base of Mount Hood, where the Timberline Lodge sits. This was the perfect time to visit. Snow was still on the ground, adding more to that eerie, cold, and isolated shining feel. As I made the final turn and ascended toward the Timberline Lodge, or the Overlook Hotel, I was getting excited. There it was, that famous Mount Hood establishing shot featuring the Timberline. It's pretty amazing. The snow falls against the front of the lodge exactly as it was portrayed in the film. However, there is absolutely no maze out in front of the hotel, and you can clearly see that in the establishing shots of the film. A mistake? Not exactly. It's all a part of Kubrick's intention to play with disorienting spatial anomalies, something that happens throughout the film when it comes to the Overlook's physical design. While the Timberline was used for establishing shots, the bulk of the film was shot on a studio backlot in England. They built a full-scale replica of the Timberline, with some of those spatial anomalies included. For set construction, they basically took this section here, then moved it over to here, then they kind of just pushed it all together and took a number of other liberties with scale, as you can see here. Construction started in 1907, it's finished in 1909. The site is supposed to be located on an Indian burial ground, and I believe they actually had to repel a few Indian attacks as they were building it. That's our snowcat. Can you both drive a car? Yes. Yeah. That's fine. Because basically, the snowcat operates very much like a car, and it won't take you long to get the hang of it. The inside of the Timberline looks very much like you would think a mountain lodge should look. The film took much of its interior design inspiration from the Awani Hotel in Yosemite National Park. Regardless, the Timberline still has some of that overlook shining vibe going on throughout the property.
As you may know, Stephen King's novel, like the film, features a haunted room. In the book, it's room 217, which does indeed exist at the Timberline. The Lodge asks Kubrick to change the room to a non-existent number to avoid any stigma. Hence, room 237 in the film. For those who know the film, Jack is assigned as winter caretaker of the Lodge, but soon falls under the influence of ghostly figures who begin to convince him that his family is undermining him, leading to a descent into one of Hollywood's most iconic and horrific villains. I'm gonna hurt you. Stay away from me! Wendy? Stay away! Darling, light of my life, I'm not gonna hurt you. Wendy, baby, I think you hurt my head real bad. I'm dizzy. I need a doctor. I'll bring back a doctor. Wendy? I'm gonna go now. Wendy? Yes? You've got a big surprise coming to you. <laughs> You're not going anywhere. As you've seen, that real-world snowfall against the Timberline was virtually identical to how it was portrayed in the film. Wendy, I'm home. by the hair on your chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in. Okay, from this point, a completely terrified Wendy is finally reunited with son Danny, who's tricked his father while inside the maze. The murderous Jack is exhausted and disoriented, and soon realizes his family is escaping in the snowcat. He finally succumbs to exhaustion and freezes to death. Anyway, whether you're a fan of the film or the book or both, the Timberline is an amazing and beautiful place to visit with a really nice ski resort. There are also a few cool Easter eggs throughout the property as an homage to The Shining. There's also a couple of gift shops with a few items that acknowledge the important part the Timberline played in Kubrick's haunting film. However, 
if you decide to come and play at the Overlook, you might consider making it a short visit. Come and play with us. Forever and ever and ever. ever.